Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life at SAP. Today in this session I am going to cover how to transfer the amount from one customer to another customer. So this scenario will happen in the real time scenarios. Uh, for example in the real time business scenarios uh, end users will have a lot of uh, invoices to be entered in the system. So uh, by mistakenly for the one invoice for invoice for customer A they have uh, invoice the by mistakenly they have entered the customer A invoice to customer B in that scenario business want to transfer the wrongly posted amount from customer B to customer A customer A they need to process this uh, they need to follow the process uh, so that process today I am going to demonstrate here so for that uh, we have to uh, use the transaction code f dash 22 so before going into the that step i will i will i will show uh, and i will take what two customers and an example uh, and i will show you the abl 5 and report from there which transaction which line item i'm going to tra transferring to another customer i will first i will show you in the customer line item level report then i will go to the exact scenario so for that uh, i'm going to use the transaction code abl 5 n okay now okay i will be passing the company code and uh, all open items just executing this one so here you can come down so i i'm taking this exam this customer as an example uh, 214 times 05 and 214 times 06 so if you can see here uh, so for this customer I will be taking the example as this line item 18 7 times 0 and 6 uh, which is posted on 0 to 0 1 to 2 3 and uh, the currency local currency amount is 10,000 INR so this amount will be I am going to transfer to this customer which is 214 times 0 6 is an private limited so here So here, if you already, if you can see, the 10,000 amounts are currently three, two, uh, two line items are there. So once the transfer is done, it should be three line items for 10,000 amount. So I'm going, I'm going to another session, and now uh, I'm accessing the transaction code F-22 to transfer the amount from one customer to another customer. Okay, now I'm taking, I'm taking the document date same as the posting date and uh, my document type would be DA for customer document and my company code is 2000 and then currency is INR and I am uh, entering the header text as a transfer to another customer and then here I am selecting the posting key as 01 then I need to book I need to transfer from uh, 5 to 6 I mean to say ABC company limited to is then private limited so I am taking this one now 2 1 4 times 0 and 6 just hit enter and enter the amount 10,000 and then then just uh, we need to select the posting key as 17 uh, I will show you what is posting key 17 uh, posting key 17 is other clearing credit customer credit so I am selecting this customer this one and now I need to I need to enter the customer number this one two two one four times zero five from this customer to I'm transferring to this customer right so so two one four times zero five just hit enter and here just put the star the amount will uh, system will automatically take the ammo then before posting this transaction make sure the profit center is uh, profit center is derived automatically sometimes the profit center will not be in the customer line item level so that time uh, if the document splitting functionality is activated we might get an error like balancing field profit center is not, not does not exist error let's see simulate so in the simulation mode uh, we cannot see the profit center whether it is captured or not so for that we need to go we have to go to simulate in general ledger level 
so if you can see here the profit center and segments profit center and segments do both are uh, blank so in my case document splitting is activated so if i try to post this document i will get definitely i will get the document splitting error let's see here see this one balancing field profit center line item 0 and not seeded so now in these cases we have to we have to post the document at any we have to post the transfer the uh, amount at any cost so in this scenario we have to use uh, one adjustment entry uh, which is a uh, we need to select one adjustment gl account which is belong to uh, uh, pnl account and the cost element category should be level so in my case i am selecting this gl account i'm going to fs00 profit and loss and in my case i'm selecting this account sales adjustment account so if you see here the control data for this gl account would be cost element category is 11 uh, revenue so i will copy this gl account i will select the first of posting key as a 40 debit and this gl account and just hit enter now oh, just a second okay and um, we just need the amount uh, as a we need to enter amount as just one single one rupee i'm going to enter and here for this entry i need to uh, mention the profit center so for the profit center i need to click on more and then here we can see the profit center of column just enter the profit center and hit enter and then again for the same gl account we need to enter the 50 also post uh, posting key 50 credit entry and then i'm selecting the same gl account and just hit enter and put a star here and then click on more and put the profit center as a 5000 profit center and then uh, click on simulate then here we can see uh, the sales adjustment GL account as one single rupee I am just taking this sales GL account to capture the profit center so that uh, I can enter the profit center at I am not able to enter the profit center at a customer level customer line item level we, we will not be have we will not see the profit center option to enter so that's the reason to uh, select the one one cost element category 11 GL account PNL account so that uh, if I enter the profit center here system will automatically derive the profit center from this line items to this line item that we can see here in the sim gen uh, simulate in general ledger mode so here we can see the profit center and segment is already is also updated for the this two line items as well in the initially we have only these two line items at that line items uh, we don't have the profit center and the segment uh, blank so that's then why we try to post this entry then we got the document splitting error to bypass that error so we have to include these two this gl accounts with a multiple entry like a 40 and 50 now i will go one step back and then i will click on post see document 16000 was posted in company code 2000 let's click on display so this has been posted now now we'll go and check our uh, ABL line item level entry line item report just click on list here and just click on uh, refresh so then here if you can come down So here we can see this uh, that entry. We can see the entry as a uh, it's showing as a due, not overdue. This entry we can see here. So we have uh, earlier we have only two line items with a uh, ten thousand. Now it's a three, and if you can go here, the ABC come 
private limited company if you can see here uh, here we uh, the credit line item credit entry has been passed so these two will be automatically nullified and the balance will shown as a normal uh, except to this the normal uh, the remaining balance it will show so this is the process to transfer the balances from one customer to another customer in the real time scenario as well they will, uh, if the document splitting is activated then only we will have to uh, use any some uh, some other adjustment entry adjust adjustment gl account and for that gl account we need to sell enter the profit center this scenario if the document splitting is not activated we can just uh, complete our scenario by entering these two line items